The MiG-25 is the next jet for the Soviet air tree in War Thunder. I make this deduction based on the chronological order of things and it is the plane that came out after the MiG-23. So the only question remains, when will it get added to the game? So why do a video about something so obvious? Well, it is because the MiG-25 presents loads of trouble in its implementation. Just stick around, trust me, you'll be amazed. You see, the MiG-25 is an interceptor, similar to the Lightning in-game or the F-104s. Problem is, it's Soviet. Meaning it is designed to do interception and that is it. Hell, the plane does not even have guns. Now we are starting to see the problem. Yeah, but that does not stop there. So a little history behind the plane, so we can understand its capabilities, blah blah blah. Unlike what people think, the MiG-25 was never made to intercept the SR-71 Blackbird. Uh, it was actually made to intercept the XB-70 Valkyrie. The Valkyrie was the US's next high altitude extreme supersonic bomber at the time, reaching speeds of Mach 3. By the way, spoiler alert, the Valkyrie was never made. With Russia being so massive in size, it needed to protect its airspace in the case of, well, the Cold War becoming a little bit too hot for their liking. I mean... The size of the country is massive. I mean, it's it's 121% larger than Australia, for the love of God. That is a continent, by the way. Not a not just a country. Australia is a continent. So the YE-155B was born. That is the uh, name of the plane before it got its current well-known well, name, MiG-25B. A plane that has one role and one role only, interception. But time was short and the Soviets needed a quick solution. So they stripped a couple of engines from a couple of, well, cruise missiles, made the airframe out of nickel steel alloy because they couldn't afford to mass produce the plane out of lightweight titanium. And in turn, that also helped with the overheating issues when reaching speeds of Mach 3. Yes, speed equals friction, friction equals heat, and some parts of the plane would reach 300 degrees Celsius. Go translate that to Fahrenheit if you don't know what that is. For air to air missiles, the plane got R 40Rs and the R 40 ts One of the biggest air-to-air -air missiles to ever be installed on a plane and like I said before, no guns. Radar was basic in the sense that it didn't have look-down capabilities, aka Pulse Drippler, and the speed of the plane on deck is about Mach 1.03. Mach 1.03, not Mach 0.3. Huge difference. Right now you might say, well sure, deck speed does not matter in War Thunder, just, well, go high, missile people, land repair, repeat. Yeah, about that. The MiG-25 never had countermeasures. <laughs> Meaning, you are going to get smacked by AIM-7s all day long when you are trying to reach for satellite installing altitudes and clapped by AIM-9s at low altitude. See the problem now? Later variations of the MiG-25 were upgraded, of course, because a Russian pilot said, F life in Soviet Union, I'm going to Japan in my stolen MiG-25 so Americans can give me citizenship. Everybody wants a green card these days. And that did happen. The pilot's name was Viktor Belenko, or something like that. You can look him up. And because of him, the West knew that the MiG-25 was a piece of junk after they dissected the ever-living crap out of it. A better radar with post drippler capabilities was installed on the MiG. New air-to-air -air missiles were installed in the form of R-40, RDs, and RTs. R for radar guided, T for IR, of course. And you also get your R-60Ms that were installed on the plane. Countermeasures were installed too, however, their exact number is unknown to me. Now you're probably thinking, well, if the first MiG-25, the P variant, was so bad, what we'll have in game is better variations that were more maneuverable and upgraded. <sighs> it's a yes and a no type of answer here. Even though that the MiG-25 was upgraded, it kept its nickel steel alloy composite, making it an over-glorified F-104 when it comes to maneuverability. However, the other concerning part is that War Thunder always introduces the crap variant of the plane before it's better variant. Guess why? Hint, it's for hype. You can see this in the Russian tech tree from the start of the MiG-15. You get the lesser variants, then the best, which is way better, comes out. Same for the MiG-21. We got the MiG-21 F-13, a crap plane that currently sits at 9.3. Well, the CL-13 sits at 9.7 then other much better variants came in later on like the mig-25 bis and the smt and 
so on and so forth. In other words, expect the MiG-25P to be added. Now another issue is with all of this is the air-to-air -air missiles. I've talked about them, the R-40s. They are relatively better than the R-24s and if you know the R-24s in game, well, you know its capabilities. Y yeah you don't want me to, to 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 tell you the rest so right now we have a plane that is so dog water that cannot do well, a dog fight run away for its life if it climbs it dies well that's it that's the mig 25 for you you see why it's problematic i told you to stay and hang around you'll be amazed well that wraps it up for now i've done the entirety of the video unscripted i hope that you enjoyed it subscribe if you did that would help out a lot and I'm going back to sleep. Don't forget to tell me what you think in the comments down below.